there, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again for Professor Katz Science Corner. I hope you had fun last week with the night sky. If you did miss that one, that will be on our YouTube. You can just go find that link and go backwards. They're not in order, watch them however you want. This week we're talking about osmosis, which if any of you have seen the titular film, Osmosis Jones, it is about a water droplet, and that's who we'll be talking about today. So to begin off, osmosis as a concept is where you have a line in the middle. Our line right here is a semi-permeable membrane, which just means a little bit of something can go through it, but not everything. And you have water on the two sides, and then on your two sides, you have molecules of something. Let's say we got five bunnies over here, we got three bunnies over here. We want to make that even. The water wants to even that out. So if that little membrane in the middle, if the little wall in the middle is thin enough for it to get through, a bunny will move over so they both have four. That's actually happening inside your body right now with your blood cells. So the experiment we'll be working on today to show osmosis is going to be with gummy bears. You can actually do an experiment. All you're going to need bowls, water, salt, make sure it's cold water, and some gummies. And we're going to watch the gummies expand and shrink because of the water moving in and out of them. Because guess what? Gelatin is an example of that semi-permeable membrane that we need. So what you'll need is two bowls, gummy bears, and salt. So the next thing you'll need to do is fill up your bowls with cold water. The reason you want cold water is because the gelatin will melt in the hot water and we don't want that. All right. So for this experiment, we're going to need three little gummies. We're having three because we want one to go in the salt bowl, one to go in the no salt bowl, and one to be a control that we can compare the two. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my salt into the first. Pour as much as you want, it's just gonna shrink more and more the more salt you put in. So make sure you get enough where it's very salty, salty, salty water. All right, bunny number one, going for a swim. <laughs> bunny number two, going in his nice, clean, fresh water. And now, we let it sit overnight. Just take a look at what happened to our bunnies. This is the bunny that we started out with. Normal size, sitting out. Look how different these two are. But look even how different it is between the one that was in the salt water and the regular water. The one in the salt water is much smaller than the one that was in the regular water. Let's take a closer look. You can definitely tell when we get up close which one is larger. The one that was in the clean water is substantially larger. The one that was in the salt water is substantially smaller. The one that wasn't in anything looks exactly the same. That guy's just there so you can see how much bigger they got. The reason this happened is osmosis. Now to understand what's going on in this experiment, we have to understand what's inside of the bunny. There are sugar and gelatin inside of that bunny. The gelatin is the semi-permeable barrier and the sugar really wants to spread out, but the gelatin membrane won't let it. So when it's in the regular water, the water is pushing its way in to correct the imbalance between the side inside of the gummy bear and the side on the outside of the gummy bear. And that's why the one in the regular water gets so much bigger because the water is going into that one. On the other side, the one that you put into the salt water, there's all those salt molecules on the outside. The gummy bear in that one, or the bunny in this case, wants to balance out the side outside of it because there's so many little salt molecules over there. So water is going out of the one in the salt water and into the salt water. So if we're doing that bunnies metaphor, the bunnies inside of bunnies being the molecules, the one in the regular water, all the bunnies want to come inside to play because there's bunnies that want to get inside to balance both of the sides. The one in the salt water, 
There's a lot of bunnies outside and they want to play. So the ones inside of the bear or the bunny come outside to play. And that's why that one shrinks. I hope you had fun with that experiment. You can do it with any kind of gummy you want. You can actually put different things into the bowls to make different things happen if you want to. There's something special that happens if you do it with a little bit of baking soda. So I'd say check that one out if you, a little bit of, you want a little bit of extra homework, let's say. The book we're going to recommend this week is Awesome Kitchen Science Experiments for Kids by Dr. Megan Olivia Hull. This is going to have 50 different experiments you can do with your family in your kitchen, and most of them you can eat. Thank you so much for joining us this week for Professor Cat's Science Corner where we talked about osmosis. I hope you learned a little something, had a little fun, and ate a couple gummies too. Come back next week where we will be talking about non-Newtonian fluids, which you might know what that is if you've ever seen oobleck or slime. See you next time!